Hi, my name is Rong Lu, and I am a program manager on the Video Studio team. Unity is a product from Unity Technologies, and it is one of the most popular game engines these days for building 2D and 3D games. In this video, I'm going to show you how Visual Studio 2015 has made it really easier for you to start building Unity games in Visual Studio. Here are the topics we're going to cover today. First, we'll talk about the tools we need for Unity development. Then we'll get into a demo to see how to acquire these tools and how to build Unity games in Visual Studio. At the end, I'll share a few resources. Now let's take a look at what tools we need to start building Unity games in Visual Studio. Installing Visual Studio 2015 community would be a great start. Once you have Visual Studio installed, it is the one-stop shop for getting all the tools for Unity development, including Unity 5 and the Visual Studio tools for Unity extension. I'll show you how to install these tools inside Visual Studio in a demo later in this video. Next, let's talk about what Visual Studio Tools for Unity extension is. From now on, I'm going to refer to it as VSTU for short. VSTU is a free Microsoft Visual Studio extension that enables editing and debugging Unity games inside Visual Studio. With this add-on, you can leverage everything you already know about Visual Studio IDE and the powerful debugger to keep you productive. Today, we're shipping Visual Studio 2.0 RTW for Visual Studio 2015. Since VSTU 2.0 preview shipped last fall, the team has been working on adding more features into the product, including support for Unity 5, advanced debugging capabilities, and tighter in integration with Visual Studio. Now let's get into a demo to see how everything works together. In this demo, I'll show you how to acquire the tools for Unity development and how to use Visual Studio to edit and debug your Unity apps. First thing I'm going to show you is how we will acquire the Unity development tools inside Visual Studio. Here I am in Visual Studio 2015 community. As I mentioned, once you have that installed, this becomes your one-stop shop for getting everything else. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the new project dialog. Um, on the left side, you'll notice we have a game node now. Um, underneath that, you can now pick to install Unity right from here. So if we click OK, um, this is reminding us what we're about to install. Um, basically, what we need to get is the Unity itself and Visual Studio Tools for Unity extension. So we'll click Install. At this point, I'm going to close VS to reduce the chances of uh, restarting required at the end of the setup. So now, what's coming up is Visual Studio Setup here. So now we have Unity and the Visual Studio Tools for, you, for Unity as two options um, listed in the Visual Studio Setup. We'll always download and, um, and install the latest version for you automatically. Um, and we we'll, we'll tell you setup, uh, in setup how much space is needed. All you need to do is just click Next. Um, this gives you a view of the different license uh, terms for different software. Um, that goes to online license terms. You can take a look there. And all, all that's left to be done is just to click the Update button. Uh, Visual Studio Setup is now going to download and install both Unity and Visual Studio Tools for Unity for us automatically on this machine. After the installation is done, you have everything you need to start building your Unity games on your machine. So let's switch over to a different machine where I already have everything installed. First thing I'm going to do is I open the Unity Editor, um, and here is a sample project that uh, Unity ships. It's an airplane. Uh, we're going to use this um, to show you the Visual Studio Tools for Unity features. So once you have a Unity project opened here, either an existing project or create a new project, the first thing you might want to do is go to Assets, Import Package, and add Visual Studio 2015 Tools Package to your project. That will enable Visual Studio Tools for Unity 
which enables debugging your apps in Visual Studio. Once you do that, you see this Visual Studio Tools menu um, in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the same project inside Visual Studio. So click on Open in Visual Studio. This will automatically generate the Visual Studio solution and projects in the right place. Here's my Visual Studio solution in here. Visual Studio, tool, Visual Studio Tools for Unity also comes with another project explorer, which you, you can open from View Unity Project Explorer. In here, you can view the assets and your script code in the same structure as displayed in the Unity editor. So you don't have to map back and forth between the Visual Studio solution and the Unity solution. In here, we're going to take a look at the script for the airplane we were looking at. So we're going to go to vehicles, aircraft, scripts, and open this landing gear. You can now start writing your script code in here. This one feature I want to introduce to you that Visual Studio Tools for Unity brings. So if you right click here, um, we see the Implement Model Behav Behaviors menu in here. This is a quick way of adding methods um, to your script code. So this dialog lists all the possible methods that you could implement in the Model Behavior class for your uh, game script. Let's say I wanted to implement fixed update. You can go ahead and pick that and hit OK. So the code will be added automatically. Um, another quick way of adding methods is to use the other menu, which is called quick model behaviors. So if I bring this up, I can type in the method I want, and there's IntelliSense to remind us what uh, methods are available to add. So here I can say fixed update, and it will add the same method. So these are really just a few quick ways of adding methods um, for the Unity apps in Visual Studio that Visual Studio Tools for Unity brings. All right. The other thing I want to mention real quick is in Visual Studio 2015, um, one feature we added for Unity projects is the shader editor now recognized in the Unity shader files. So if I go and open a Unity shader file, you notice we, were, we have syntax highlighting and colorization um, for the shader file, making it a lot easier to read and write shader code inside the Visual Studio as well. So let's go back to the script code. What I'm going to do is I am going to set a breakpoint right here and start debugging my Unity game inside Visual Studio. So the breakpoint we set is when the state of this airplane changed um, from lowered to raised. So when the airplane is about to take off, its head is going to raise. When that happens, this breakpoint should be hit. Let's see if that actually happens. Um, all I need to do at this point is to press F5 or click the Attach to Unity here to start debugging. I'm going to click that. This is going to compile the project and attach the debugger for me. Now we're ready on the VS side. Let's go back to the Unity editor. Now let's start playing the game. All right, now we're in play mode. Let's move this plane. And I'm going to try to take it off. All right, so the game is paused right now uh, because the breakpoint is hit on the VS side. Let's go back to take a look at that in the Visual Studio IDE. In uh, lower here, in the autos window, we can inspect different variables, expressions. We can also look at the call stack. So M state, um, the value right now is lowered. If I step over one line by pressing F10, it's going to move over to the next line. We can also see that the value of that variable has changed now to raised, um, which is also highlighted in red. We can also then continue this app by pressing F5. Now the plane has taken off. That's how easy it is you can debug your Unity games um, inside the Visual Studio. 
In the demo, I showed you how to get the tools for Unity development inside Visual Studio, and how to use various features of VSTU to program and debug your Unity games efficiently inside Visual Studio. Hope you have enjoyed them. You can download Visual Studio 2015 community here to start building your Unity games. And here, you can find more information about Visual Studio tools for Unity. Thank you for watching the video.